Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics. In this DCS AH64D video, we'll examine the addition of the Target State Estimator, or TSC, to greatly assist with engaging movie targets with the gun and rockets. When using the TADS as the sight, the TSC allows you to determine actual target velocity relative to the TADS line of sight. Using laser ranging, embedded INS and GPS systems, TAD slew rate, and the air data system, the TSE compares aircraft movement rates to target rates. Once the actual target rate is known, the appropriate amount of lead can be calculated to account for weapon time of flight and required lead. Naturally, this will be essential for accurate fires when using linear motion compensation, or LMC. Most important takeaway is that TSC will provide accurate lead against moving targets when engaging through the TADS. It's important to note that when using the IHADS, lead is not calculated. A very important item to understand is to avoid range jumping. This can happen when you switch between range sources and it'll appear as the TADS line of sight jumping away. This can easily happen if you do not establish ranging with a first detent laser ranging before initiating TSE. Therefore, it's important to use automatic ranging and perform a first detent ranging pulse of the target before committing to a TSE LMC track. Let's get started. Okay, so first, let's take a look at the TSE with the AWS or the gun system. So we'll set the uh, safe arm button to arm, bring up the weapon page, waz the gun, and with manual ranging, of course, we have the uh, default manual and stale. We're going to go to automatic, so A on the keyboard unit and enter. Good, and uh, zoom our view in, and we've uh, slaved to the general target area around uh, waypoint one. E slave. Adjust our levels a little bit on the FLIR. And let's look around for a target. So we have a mover there, another one there. Third there. Let's come back and hit one of those uh, earlier ones. Okay, we'll engage this guy here. So zooming in, adjusting my gain. Okay, first detent to hit laser range. I go second detent for continuous lasing and now LMC. And now simply use the force controller to track that target. And I want a good solid long track, so I'll say TSC, follow me, and engage. And you just want to give a good tracking time to build that correct lead angle. And hits. Okay, so that was so much fun. Let's do it again. So I've turned off the LMC. Let's go to this guy. So do a quick range. Continuous ranging, LMC, thumb force controller. Establish a good track there. TSC, follow me, and engage. And hits. So as you can see, as long as you follow the correct procedure, it can be pretty darn accurate. Now, let's take a look at TSE with rockets. In this case, I'll have George in the front doing a co-op attack with me. I'm gonna go ahead and select my weapon. Rockets. I love rockets. I'll define the area I want George to identify a target. Slaving, deslaving. And I'll select that target. Blazing. And we can see the acquisition symbol out there at the target. And now I'm simply going to fly the uh, line of sight reticle on my HDU with the I-beam. That was a bit far and a bit rushed. Uh, don't do that. Let's get a little bit closer, get a better shot. So again, lining the reticle with the I-beam. Fire. Lasers off. And hit. Target destroyed. So as you can see, in co-op mode using TSC, 
is still quite accurate even against moving targets. Now last, because I know you guys will ask, uh, let's take a look at TSC with the Hellfire. Now TSC of course is not really as appropriate with Hellfire because it's not calculating lead for a ballistic weapon, but it'll allow you to keep a, more, a little bit more of a steady LMC track on a target. A good track and rifle. So again, as that Hellfire is going to the target, it's not using any sort of TSC lead, uh, obviously, it's homing on that laser energy instead. And Shack. So as you can see, it's uh, still super easy to engage moving targets as well. So folks, I hope you enjoyed this little video talking about the upcoming TSC. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.